Hey, this is Sasha, and welcome to another episode on Hungry for Returns, where I answer your trading and investing questions here on video and on detail. And if you have a trading or investing question regarding the stock market, uh, you can go ahead and submit one by voice or write one in on our website at tradersfly.com or check out the link over here. And then you can record one on audio and be featured on the show. Now, today, let's take a look at a question that I've taken a little bit of a screenshot of. And that is how to sell a penny stock that we bought. It's hard because penny stocks are uh, unliquid. So, uh, you know, I kind of answered this question back and forth uh, once. But basically, uh, you know, there's an issue when it comes to uh, stocks that are less liquid. And penny stocks, a lot of times, are less liquid. And my typical approach and advice to you is to go ahead and stay under 20% of the daily trading volume. And that should kind of keep you a little bit more in the clear. So what do I mean by this and how do we go about calculating this? So let's take a look at this stock. It's not necessarily a penny stock, but uh, you can see it trades a lot less shares than, let's take a look at Microsoft, for example. Microsoft trades, and I can tell by the volume here, it's traded today about 200, uh, about 22.3 million shares. Okay, so that's right here on this bar. Sometimes it trades around 30 million shares, but you're averaging. And if we go ahead and take an average, we'll go ahead and add one in. There's an indicator you can do. You can just add a moving average, and we can add a simple moving average to the volume. And let's just change it to a 20 day moving average. And why do I do 20 day? Well, because there's 20 trading days in a month excluding weekends and those kinds of things. So if you look at the average, the average is around 27 million shares lately, okay, in the last 30 days or so. Now, let's take a look at this uh, C-Day company. Okay, so we're looking at our average of about 870,000. So average 20 days, about 958,000 shares. And I'm getting this at this very, very top way up here. Uh, but again, it's a little bit high because of this huge bar that we've just recently had. So uh, taking a look at it, maybe a little bit lighter, uh, let's say about 600, 700,000 shares. So in order for you to stay under the radar, you kind of want to do 20% of that. So at most, right, depending on your account size. Now, for some of you, if you're trading uh, more expensive stocks, you might not be able to do this because it's already at $50 a share. But let's say we take 600,000 shares on average and we multiply that times 20%. I probably don't want to do more than 120,000 shares on that. That's because for me to get out of that, it may take multiple days because already you're kind of, you know, one fifth of the trading volume for any single day. So it may take you multiple days to get out of that without moving the stock too much. So multiply this times, uh, let's say $50 a share, you know, you're looking at a $6 million account. Now that may sound huge and it is huge to the normal regular person. But if you're a hedge fund, if you've got a, just a basic uh, large account, maybe you made a bunch of money, maybe you owned PayPal, maybe you started Facebook. Hey, if you got a lot of mo extra money here sitting around and you wanted to buy this stock, well, $6 million is not a lot of money to move this stock. And if you're uh, taking $6 million, you probably would move this stock quite a bit. And that's 20% already of the average daily volume. So even to get into it, you'd probably push it a little bit higher. Now, once you try to get out of it, you probably push it a little bit lower because again, you're one fifth of the trading volume. Now that'll kind of keep you out of major trouble. But if you really want to be under the radar, you know, being a smaller fish is better in that kind of case. Now, really where the problem lies is when we start getting into smaller and smaller stocks. So let's say we look at, uh, and let's just look at some penny stocks, for example. If we go ahead and let's just do, a new condition and let me look at actually a whole bunch of stocks here let's just look at the US stocks and we'll go ahead to stocks that are you know a couple dollars a share so now you can see this stock which trades on average we're looking at here about 28,000 shares on average on a day-to-day -day basis Okay, now this stock is around $3 a share. And let's say you were interested in getting into this. I don't know what this stock exactly does. But here, 
the whole point behind this is to move this stock, if it only trades 28,000 shares, well, 28,000 shares on average times $3, well, let me give you an, an idea here. 28,000 shares times $3 a share, you only need about $84,000 to really move that stock and have, uh, basically, and to take all the daily volume from this stock. So imagine, with under $100,000, you could move this stock in a big, 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 big way. So that's why you need to be careful. So here, if you're looking at a 28, even 30,000, let's say 28,000 shares, um, you want to multiply that to, times, let's say, 20, 20%. Uh, so you don't want to trade more than about 5,500 shares. 5,600 shares is 20% of 28,000. But if you want to stay under the radar, trading 5,000 shares or less should keep you out of some trouble. And even then, that would be around uh, $16,000, $17,000. So, you know, you're looking at uh, $16,800 to kind of be 20% of that. And remember, you're still a big fish in this case, in this stock. And that's the problem when you're trading penny stocks. Anything that's kind of $3, $5. Because uh, any any one of these stocks, you can really move it. So looking at IPDN as an example, this stock was at around dollar forty six, a dollar fifty six at one point, and it only traded about nineteen thousand shares. So you know nineteen thousand shares times a dollar, let's just say a dollar fifty, it's only twenty eight thousand dollars to move that stock. So you need to be very careful. Uh, when dealing with this because a large amount of capital could really move this and you could get stuck in a position not being able to get out. So here, 19,000 shares. Let's just take 19,000 shares on average times, let's say we want to play it safe, 10% of the daily volume. You, know, you want to stay basically under 1,900 shares. And even then, times let's say $1.50 a share, you know, you probably only spend $2,850 on this stock at most because otherwise if you start trading larger than that um, you're becoming a big fish you can move the stock and it may make it more difficult for you to get out of the stock so those are some things to consider about e-liquid stocks and how much to trade when it comes to stocks that are less liquid uh, because you always want to be under the radar so this is one of the huge advantages to having less capital is because you're able to be under the radar buying a few shares here and there. Once your capital size grows and you're trading uh, larger, trading these penny stocks is a little bit more difficult. Uh, so that's why you start trading some of these bigger companies, right? Microsoft, if you buy, you know, uh, 500,000 shares, not, not a lot of people are going to notice. You know, it's still small relative to 22.3 million <laughs> shares on a day-to-day -day basis. So anyways, I hope this makes a little bit more sense and gives you some insight to how large you should be trading especially more regarding penny stocks. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any specific questions, be sure to reach out or get on our newsletter list or make sure to subscribe on YouTube so that way you don't miss a beat. Thanks again, and remember to do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.